Hey, I'm Alvaro Castillo with the PPR. I'm here at San Ysidro High School. Now standing beside me, I got Coach Arciaga. Coach Arciaga started his head, his head coaching career here at San Ysidro. Uh, this year, now he's at Mar Vista. Coach Arciaga, talk about it. You know, how did it come about for you to leave San Ysidro where you got your first head coaching job to go to Mar Vista? I know the job opened up, Brian Hay left, and you ended up with the job. Yeah, ultimately, um you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity that I had here to be a head coach. I learned a lot and uh, ultimately get, you learn a lot by being thrown into the fire. And, uh, you know, what ended up happening is that a teaching job opened up uh, and I lived three blocks away from Mar Vista and, you know, the opportunity just came. All right, now, Brian Hay at, at Mar Vista had that, you know, a double the, wing. the double wing, mm -hmm. the people call it the butt sniffer. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, you now, what do you run the spread offense? Yeah, mm -hmm. we run. Yeah, we run a four wide set, and you know, just try to be a little bit, a, a little bit more balanced. We still run the, we're still run heavy, but at the end of the day, we, we, uh, you know, just want to at least spread it out a little bit and uh, run a little bit more of a traditional type, you know, college style offense for the kids. All right, you got a, you got a running back uh, by the name of Jimmy Hill. Mm -hmm. He's back there. Was one of our student athletes. Mm -hmm. um, talk about how you set up your program. Did you set up around him because he's a great running back, great kid. You know. Yeah. Ultimately, and you know, there's several kids that are just like him, you know, that have, you know, 4.5 GPAs and higher. I mean, we have five kids that are in the top 10 of their entire class, and they're varsity athletes, and they're also, you know, they excel on the football field and in the classroom as well. You know, they're in ASB, and, and it's just, it's all those group, core group of kids that have just sticked together the last four years that, uh, that you really build your program around. All right. Now going, looking ahead to next year, um, what do you plan to do different next year, you know? There's, you know, this this group of kids. You got them these years. You got some kids that are underclassmen. You're just looking at running the same thing and any. Well, changes? you know, you always try to, you know, kind of mold what you're doing to the kind of kids that you have. And you know, we, we have, uh, you know, some work to do in the off season. And uh, you know, guys blossom as they go from, you know, 10th to 11th grade and 9th to 10th grade. So you know, it'll be an interesting off season for us and to kind of see where we need to mold and change and just kind of configure, you know, what we're really doing. All right, now, going back to what you're talking about in the classroom, now, do you really uh, emphasize on making sure these kids are a students before they're athletes? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, you have some great examples here. You know, you got kids like Andres Preciado, Matt Gill, Jimmy Hill, uh, Alejandro Ackerlin. All those guys are all in the top 10 in their entire class, uh, graduating class. They're all going to go to great schools, uh, not for their football, ac you know, acumen, but rather their uh, academic accolades. And so it's just really impressive because all the little people, all the freshmen and all the JV guys, you know, they get to see such a great example uh, with those guys kind of leading the way. All righty. Now coming back here, you know, it's your first game back. Obviously, you know, you're in league. You're in the hunt for the title. You guys won last week. Hopefully, you get a win tonight. Talk about what it feels to come back to the school that started your head coaching career. Well, you know, ultimately, it's a it's a mixed mixed bag. I mean, you know, there's some great kids here, and and that's what made it really a difficult decision for me to leave. Even though, you know, I live three blocks away from you know Mar Vista, and um, you know, ultimately, this is a league game for us, and you know, we're at a position now where we got to win to stay in. And if we don't win this game, then you know, we're not in the playoffs. So we got to win this game and, uh, and uh, concentrate on this game right now before we go on to the next. All righty. Now, I know you want to concentrate on this game, but looking ahead next week, Hilltop, I'm hoping that that should be the, the league title game right there. Hilltop versus you guys. Talk about it. Yeah, well, I mean, Hilltop's a gritty team, and, you know, but Southwest, you know, they got a lot of kids. They got some kids over there with some good heart and, uh, and, and some talent. And so, you know, you never know what might happen over there. Uh, like I said, we're really just focused on this game and, you know, whatever happens, happens and, uh, you know, we'll move on to the next. Alrighty, there you have it from San Ysidro High School. I'm Alvaro Castillo with the Prep Fixing Report.